right, how we doing everybody? This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Here to welcome you to episode three of Blur Bonanza, live here with Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Hopefully we're having all we're all having a great day here on this uh, Thursday, July 21st. Uh, it's been a while since the last Blur Bonanza. I purposely don't do these as often as, you know, your WrestleManias or your Chaos Travel Cades or I got a lot of really wordy names for my shows. But the point being. Uh, we are here today to once again look at random games from a random era, and today it is the Game Boy Advance era. That's right, last time we had looked at some Super Nintendo games after doing some Sega Genesis games. And yes, as you can imagine, the theme of this show, much like Retromania, is retro gaming to a degree, I think to a very high degree. And uh, as I scroll through these kind of various different types of uh, Game Boy Advance games, I think, wow, there's a lot of really random Game Boy Advance games, so we're going to go ahead and check them out. Um, over a thousand of them, however, and I, I think this might be for the best, um, going forward with the Blur Bonanzas, I'm probably just going to skip the sports titles. I know in the past I said I had to play anything that came up, but it just turned into me playing like eight or ten sports games that went nowhere and just kind of like nobody wants to see, you know, FIFA 20, like a one or freaking, you know, college basketball 95. Like there were some real duds in there. So... Today we're just going to play, you know, unless it's like a really unique sports game or something, and I don't even know what that would be, but like, I don't know, like Rugrats Skateboarding or something, I'm probably just going to stick to the games. And there'll probably still be some really lousy games in there, I'm not going to lie, but Game Boy Advance also had some really good games, and a lot of those have been featured on Retrovania, a lot of them have been featured just at random times, so we might get some of those too. We might get something else entirely, but that's part of the fun of this, um, so we're going to go ahead and check it out right now. Uh, Blur Bonanza, episode three. Thank you again, everybody, for uh, checking in today. Hopefully, we'll hear from more of you soon. So, right now, we're going to go ahead and, without further ado, select a random game. Hello. Random? Backyard. Okay, we're not going to do football. We're not, we're not going to do any sports games. We can help it. Random? Pokemon Oral Mew. Uh, I don't even know what that is. That's not even a real Pokemon game. I was just about to say, I'm like, I never heard of this. Yeah, all right. We're going to rule out Pokemon games, too, only because it's kind of hard to randomly play a Pokemon game. And they're good games, but, like, we're not going to sit here and just start collecting Pokemon. Random. Ghost Rider. All right. That we're going to do. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ghost Rider on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, don't have high hopes for this. And I, I have considered the fact that there's going to be a lot of movie games possibly on this list. Uh, movie games were kind of a big deal in the late 90s up through probably 2005 or so. So we're going to see some of those. Right after we watch this health and safety warning. 2006 Marvel. I keep forgetting that's technically a Marvel movie. This was probably no. This was pre-MCU. Some would argue it's not a very good movie. I've actually never seen the movie or its sequel with Nick Cage. Oh, I wonder if Nick Cage is in this game. Probably. Sure, let's start the game. Go oh, medium. I like how I know already. Actually. Meet my friend Johnny Blaze. Okay, I met him. Kid was a stuntman, a damn good one. Jumped bikes through flaming hoops, did all sorts, but nothing he did to save his father from the cancer that consumed him. Until Johnny met a stranger who offered him a deal. His father's life for his mortal soul. I feel like this is getting me out of seeing the movie. And his father's illness did disappear. This is time to die of death. Okay. It was the demon lord Mephisto who had cheated Johnny Blaze. Transformed him into the ghost spider. Now Johnny sees no rest. How do I make it like this? The devil needs an agent in the world of men. Uh, it's a tough deal for the devil. How long is this? The apocalypse is suddenly at hand. But he still thinks his destiny is his own. I want a word with him below. His eyes are blind. Okay. As you wish, I will break Ghost Rider to you. I thought I was playing as Ghost Rider. I'm playing as a bad guy? I Ghost Rider was kind of a bad guy. Supposed to be like a cutscene here. Uh, I'll buy that. So now Johnny is in hell. I don't know how he feels right now. 
Arg. I guess this would be really impressive on a little Game Boy Advance. And he doesn't seem too pleased about it. Section one, no break. Pretty sure that's the only thing I have. Okay. Do I jump? Do I jump? Really, this actually isn't that bad a game. I mean, granted, I've only played the second game. The R button is jump. That's kind of weird. I'm like, you're trying to figure out the jump button. Right, this actually is not that bad. It also might be like uh, Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. It actually isn't bad. I like the graphics. I don't know why the music just got different there, but... You never seem to get more than a one damn combo. Whoa! Granted, my attacks are a little bit limited, but it's only like two punches. Before counting the triggers, which they do make good use of, I will say. I believe I'm saying this actually is not the train wreck I thought it was. It's like still better than games like Spider Man, Quest for New York, and some of the mediocre you know, platforms. Well, over this platform. Alright. Collect four of the destroying. Not a bad little other. And I will admit, part of this is kind of to hopefully discover some games I wouldn't know otherwise. So, like, maybe I can, you know, eventually incorporate this into, like, a retro or something. Hey, I'm not saying it's going to be like a top of the line but it's not a bad thing. Yeah, I'm not going to pay for this game. It's not my uh, retro cat console thing, which I did pay for, but not specifically for this game, I assure you. I don't know. Oh! I think if you had a little bit more variety in terms of moves, it's time, it is what it is. Going around scamming people, being all ghost writery. To like kind of add. Oh, there we go. We got some combo going here. Three brutal. That was one of my objectives too. Four cool. Oh no, I lost it. I mean, I don't get the credit for any of it now. I don't know. Jump up there. I don't know. That jump's not very high. It's really hard to remember that the R button is jump. You keep wanting to hit one of the other buttons, because I'm not used to using the R button for every jump. Granted, this whole thing is a little weird, but still, even for me, you know, it's whatever. Oh, come on now. Maybe the weird one is not. Ow. You know what was actually pretty good that we might see here today were some of the uh, Star Wars games, like the Episode 1 game, Episode 2 game, like the platformers that had kind of like a top-down perspective, you use your lightsaber to deflect the bullets, like those are kind of uh, were, like, great. But I, I have some fond memories of those, but my friends all had like Game Boy Advances when it first came out. Like those games had like amazing graphics at the time, but like, oh man, this is great, you can play all these games like portable or whatever. Uh, just back then we didn't mind the jump buttons on the R button. Pull down to defend yourself. I was gonna say there's still probably some controls in here that I'm not like doing. Whoa, fuck that. I can't really defend myself from a fireball. Oh, 
Oh, what was that? I didn't actually know I could do one at all. Okay, the roll's kind of cool. I feel like I'm like accidentally doing it. It'll probably tell me how to do it on the next screen. I feel like it's, I think it's down in D. Oh, watch out. Watch out again. That's uh, not watch out. Hold down to grab enemies closely. That I didn't know. Game doesn't know what it wants. Oh, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> that's not useless because it's not necessarily bad for a limited control scheme like the game's got to be done. Wouldn't it be funny if we actually did see Super Little today? My, my friend Post is always saying I should play that game. Oh, okay. I was wondering when we were going to see a boss. That is likely a boss. Out. Way it, like, off the way like you off the yeah, I figured out how to out, how to do the rolls. Out, not bad, 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 out, not bad. Okay, I actually played that game about ten minutes longer than I thought I would. Oh. What a ten minutes it was. I'm moving along here, and I will occasionally change the stream description if I find a game that I think will be a well-known game. I don't think too many people are looking for Ghost Rider Game Boy Advance, but then again, my last episode of Retro shows that I guess anything's possible. That said, let's move along here. Let's see what else we got. Random. Charlotte's Web. Oh, great, I actually have to play it. Say, it's not a sports game. If this game is any good, then I will be super surprised. Hey, I got, gotta get my money's worth here. I got like, I don't know, 50,000 something games. They're not all gonna be great. The music does not get me very excited. Sega's involved in this? Oh, Sega, why? Oh, Sega, no, you're so much better than this, aren't you? Oh, why did you make the Charlotte's Web game? Why is there a Charlotte's Web game? Why am I putting my initials into it? Yeah, this is where I've come. <laughs> this is how far I've come. Adventure. There's an adventure. Let's play the adventure. Level 1, Zuckerman's Barn. Tap A to... Well, what the heck am I doing? Okay, I just woke up the pig. My name's Gussie. You weren't in the book. Wow. Salutations, my name is Charlotte. A. Have a Charlotte had a whole name like that? See, I don't want to get too attached here because I know how this story ends. What the hell? Do you look like just the, just look like the other duck? Alright, whatever. That was kind of stupid. Hold B to push the full objects. I mean, I guess for a platformer starring a pig, it's not the worst thing. Alright, that was kind of that was kind of funny for some stupid reason. All right, we're crawling. I thought it was weird they made a game about a cat playing as a freaking pig. Uh, I just made a bit of barrel. Right, well, what was your problem? Uh, 
Not that I've even stuck with this game for more than like two minutes, it's a little surprising. Oh, I see. How can I climb ladders? I'm a pig! Alright, fine. I'm climbing a ladder. Am I like back in the main level now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, okay. But it makes sense if you think about it. Wilbur's had a few too many hot dogs. I can't believe- I refuse to believe that Sega had anything to do with this game. But the name was on the title screen. Watch out for cranky barn rats, y'all. I don't know why I added the all in there. Scare them away with a jump attack. Press A to jump, then B to attack. What the heck am I watching? Okay, we're pushing a cart with our heads. Okay, I've had enough. It's just so stupid. I mean, if it, if it was, I mean, it's not as bad as I thought, but there are other random games you could play that are either better or lousier than that. So let's keep things moving along here. Uh, next game, random. Morhen 3, The Chicken Chase. And I'm just reading the description here. This really couldn't be any simpler. Morhen recovers no complicated... You just shoot... You know what? Screw it. I'm not even... If that's all it needs, then I will take it on. I just like that there's a Morhen 3. Like, when the hell were the first two? What the hell even is this? Also, welcome to the channel, everybody. Another lovely day with yours truly, Chaos Blur. Kicking it old school with this gem from Ubisoft. Because when you think of Ubisoft, no, you don't think of Rayman or um, Assassin's Creed. No, you think of Morhen 3, the chicken chase. I did not think of that at all. How can they all give you the option for German in the, uh, what do you call it, languages? What the hell am I watching? You know what? If it's just a stupid shoot em up, I will play it. Oh my god, it's even better than that. It's freaking the duck hunt. You just kind of shoot whatever comes up on the screen. Oh, I'm not supposed to shoot those. See, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like I'm just shooting them all anyway. Okay, so I'm supposed to shoot the things that aren't chickens. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to shoot over here. Screw this game. I got a point for hitting the rock? shots with that one chicken. I don't know what chicken I'm supposed to shoot and which one I'm not. Alright, apparently I got a high score for that nonsense. Whatever. Congratulations, it's a game. Is that really the whole game? Like, is there not, like, another level? You just do that for, like, a minute? I don't know how long I wanted to play it. So I, I guess, again, that wasn't terrible. I'm just not sure what just happened. Kind of a different take on Duck Hunt, I guess. I I've played worse things. We've seen me play them. That said, random. TMNT. Oh, I do it. Oh, it's not the one I thought. But you know what? This still looks pretty good. Let's check this out. I have. There's a few TMNT games for Game Boy Advance. This one's based on the 2007 cartoon. The other one that I actually own, which I played on Retro Request Party in the past. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, you guys don't need my explanation. So let's check this out real quick. A little TMNT. Hey, it's Ubisoft again. They're back for making the hit game Morhen 3. I'm really glad they gave those guys another shot. See, TMNT games are usually pretty good. Like, even if they're not, like, you know, my favorite one or whatever. Like, you know, whatever. we'll see how this one. Guys, Ubisoft made this. Usually Konami makes all the Turtles games. And this cutscene is just whatever. Act 1. Alright, so this is pretty basic. It kind of reminds me of the old, uh... Oh, 
Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, they, they definitely played it safe with this game, but I don't really blame them. Like, it plays just like Turtles in Time. It's just like it's a little slower, but... The, the effort is there. It's, okay, it's not nearly as good, but you know what? I don't know. Still... So far, so good with the Game Boy Advance games. Like, even the stupid Charlotte's Web game was not a total train wreck. Okay, you can pick up and throw things. Nobody's really here right now, as far as the viewers go. So I'm not, you know, usually I would take the quest and go out and just stop playing the game or play something else. I'd like to open that, but it's kind of hard, so people are really here right now. So I'm just going to kind of do what I'm doing. Do it really well, I say. Uh, it's fun today. Hopefully you are, all are as well. Knock that down. Yes, please. All right. All right. We got a little weapon here. A little Streets of Rage action. Start smacking people around with it. Why not? This play is extremely simple. It's not as good as the MMT game that I played before on the other day. But you know what? Definitely really worth a lot. Good graphics. Piece of presentation. This is it. He's just chilling here. Ow. Oh, you can hit the car? Oh, I thought that was just kind of there. That's a nice car. These aren't even foot movies, they just feel like generic thugs. Generic thug 1, generic thug 2, and so on. I really can't pick up this rock and then just throw it and really waste it out. So there you go. Okay, I thought maybe I could interact with that random guy in the background. Yeah, all right. Whoa, that guy! But I just threw that thing at and somehow missed. I don't know if that's the emulation or that's just how this game was. Like, it looks fine enough. Why can't I go up there? Barely hit that golf with the tire. Got him with that one. Kids, stop throwing rocks, man. 
go for some of that. It's almost that sound to me. Very much left to right here. There. Watch out! I don't know who I should watch out for. I don't like cell phones. A lot of ouch, a lot of references here to the old TNT games, the old arcade games. Of course, the actual game was of a better quality than the graphics. In fact, if I know my TNT games, that can be a hit. Uh, can't be a hit because of Ow. Get the file over by the other side. Ouch. Ouch. Alright. Ouch. It's just not. Like, it just lacks the charm of the old-school TMT games. Like, I can't explain in what way, but... Like, it's technically there. Like, all the kind of elements you'd want are there. Anyway, let's continue this. Uh, random. NFL Blitz. Yeah, see, we're not doing those. Random. Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. All right. This actually has potential to be kind of a train wreck, but in the best possible way. Whenever you bring the Nicktoons together, you know, you never know what kind of chaos can ensue. So, here we go. Let's try this out. There are a lot of credits for a random Nickelodeon game, but I'll give it a shot. Why not? We will see how this goes. hey -o. All right, so far something. Okay, we just start as Timmy. Timmy and the Fairly Odd Parents. Cosmo, Wanda, what's going on? I wish you would get me out of this. Okay. I don't get it, Timmy. My magic isn't working correctly. SpongeBob, I shouldn't be surprised. You know, it's going to be Star Wars and Nickelodeon in the back then. Cool bubble. There's something in there. I mean, it's technically getting the job done. I mean, there weren't as many, like, thriller games as I thought for the Game Boy Advance. Like, you know, these aren't, like, my favorite games. Yeah, they're all pretty well put together. Attack is the blow up bubble. The bubble flies a little bit too. And Danny Phantom's here. That sounds like Danny! SpongeBob SquarePants to the rescue! My bubbles don't hurt those things. There is something I'm doing. Come on. They really are. Maybe because you just 
right into a wall. journey that was all the way around. I honestly don't know why I'm so quiet. I'm obviously not going to want to keep the game right there. Right, what's like his special move if he have one? Oh, okay. Oh, he can, okay, he can go. All those devious level designers in Nickelodeon might have some of them. Okay, so you can switch between them. Got a terrible card here. Yeah. Alright. Well, it's not bad. I do feel like Guinea Phantom would have more combat abilities, though. What the hell is that? Is that like Jerry's uncle? Guys, if anybody's really watching this from the story. Someday we'll do a whole stream just based on Nicktoon's Battle for Volcano Islands, but, uh, yeah. It's the sequel to the 2005 video game Nicktoon's Unite. That's really funny. Alright. Oh, they actually put a few characters in this thing. Alright. Random. SD Gundam Force. It is your favorite channel. Alright, whatever. Of course it is, I guess. I don't see me making it too far into this one either. But it is licensed by Nintendo, in case anybody was wondering. Does anyone have any preference for of these I play as? I mean, I'm just doing what I'm doing here. We're SD Gundam Force! Yay! Okay. So what do I do? Alrighty. This is kind of cool, no. I guess. Hello. Alright. So it's just like a... This isn't a bad game. Is this a shoot em up or just like kind of a fighting game? You kind of both. Like you're kind of on a platform type of deal, but not really. I can behind this. Like, I'm not really like loving it, but it's not terrible. Something I could throw into a red for me. I was gonna say I thought there'd be like more control, more options. Okay. 
One little hack and slash gimmick to it. I mean, it's not lighting the world on fire, but none of these games so far have really done that. With the exception of maybe Ghost Rider, because it was on fire at hard. So far, it's been a pretty pleasant sampling of some Game Boy Advance titles. I have to take some classics, because I don't think any of those would fit into this category, but it's something. That said, I'm kind of done with it. I want to try and get some more games in here on the Blur Bonanza Episode 3. So once again, I'd like to welcome everybody to, hopefully you're having a great day today, Thursday, July 21st, 2022. All right, here we go. Random. Classic NES series, Legend of Zelda. Technically, that is a Game Boy Advance game. I don't really feel like playing Zelda, though. Well, nobody's here. Power Rangers SPD. All right, let's check that out. It's going to be kind of lame, but most of the Power Rangers games were lame, unfortunately, except for, like, Time Force on Game Boy Advance. That was pretty good. Um, Power Rangers Legends, actually, I think it was on DS, but th there were some other ones that were okay. I, I don't know that this is one of them. I never played it. But we shall see. Right now. Yeah, I'm ready. As ready as I'm going to get. Episode Zero. Watching this for the story. What the hell is that? Don't even know. All right, Get the usual jumping, hitting, flashing, whatever. Double jump here. Gonna kind of hack and slash our way through here. Pretty plain graphics, nothing to write home about. This is pretty good. Just a generic kind of 90s type of backtracking, though. Know, seems like South or something. Like nothing about this game really blowing me away. It's pretty much what I thought it was going to be. Enemies running from off the screen. Just trying to get rid of them. Currently, I have to make little white fields show up and just put stuff for me. That's my special move, I guess. Uh, apparently, I can't do that because I already wasted it on some other crap. Hopefully, those attacks don't do a lot of damage. Oh, enemy. Very generic, janky looking enemy. Not quite the power in this game to Mowing them down like nothing else here. Any like secret areas or anything. I guess not. Game two's about as quick holding as yet. I'm having a pretty good time despite how dumb it is, but I just mean in general. The episode of uh, Love and Anthem. So far, there haven't been in like any guns. Like, there haven't been like amazing games, but it's been what it's been. Ooh, slight obstacle. Ow. Taking more damage from those than the actual enemies. Okay. I'm gonna say, where are the other enemies? Oh, those idiots just walk right into that thing. Ow. 
something I, I feel like i kind of got the gist of it i don't i don't imagine other levels really did a lot more there so uh yeah that was power rangers spd on game boy advance we're gonna continue this random fest right here right now kind of just a lightning lightning round lightning fire round whatever you want to call it Bomberman tournament yeah, this could actually be good maybe maybe i'll even change my screen description just for kicks so as far as changing the um category What's this now? This is Bomberman Tournament. Hey, there it is. Well, I have a feeling there was probably a Bomberman Tournament game on like the main consoles at this time, and this is just like the Game Boy Advance spin-off. Probably not as well known. Deep space on the rim of dot dot dot. Bomber Galaxy. Apparently there's a thing called Bomber Galaxy. I don't know what that is. I barely know how to play the original Bomberman games, let alone this tournament one. Sure, let's go for it. Oh, this already looks like I'm not going to know what the hell to do. You know what, I probably should have just gone to, like, uh, the battle mode. So I could be a lot more involved. Kind of like that time I tried to play the Game Boy Advance game of Mario Tennis, and it was like a story mode, and I'm like, I just want to play a game of tennis. All of this. I don't just go back to like the options menu. had your heart set on some uh, Bomberman tournament. But, uh, tournament's canceled. I'd say we lost. We lost before we even got to the starting gate, but I digress. Let's go ahead and keep things going here. Keep things fresh with some random. Donk oh, yeah. All right, here we go. You all know Donkey Kong Country. I'll absolutely change the description to that. Even if it is the Game Boy Advance version. This one will definitely be worth our while for at least some time. Donkey Kong Country. There we go. Listen to that somewhat decent music. Yeah, I knew we'd get one I've heard of. One I think I've pretty much everybody's heard of. I'm trying to skip through all this. Apparently, that ain't gonna happen. DK, DK, wake up. What the hell is going on? I just want to play some Donkey Kong Country. Why did they add a story to it? I guess it was always a story, but like, I just don't remember seeing all this. Like this, you know, during the. Like kidnapped, how are you able to join it? I mean, I just enjoy this game. 
57 plus. Even as an ardent Sega fan, I have to be a great game. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, hello. Bonus round? Bonus round. Find the exit. I found it. It's right there in red letters. to be stuck there. all 3D games, 3D Game Boy fans. I, don't, I know the second one. I don't know about the third one. I would imagine it is. Oh, I'm hella dead. Time to go on yet another Roby Rampage. There. Ow. Ouch, on a roll. Which I couldn't have this before I got the barrel. Watch out. I just died. I was gonna say, even though I got that thing, I just died. Yeah. Just almost walked right into me. I was about to take it. Yeah, you can't fire me. I quit. Oh, nice shot. Oh, my monkey's in a barrel. Oh, tired. I never get tired of that game. Ow. You get tired of that game. And I'm dead again. Not the end again. Patrick, you're fired again. Alright. Here we go. Kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, man, those things are going to be my undoing if they haven't already done me. Higher in there, I've got it every other time. Oh. Well, at least the music is even catchy when you die. And you do die in this game quite a bit for me. Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay, all I gotta do is go through the exit. I should have made it. I did. Alright, good. That's a good little thing. Yeah, get your dance on there, monkey. Monkey's cabin. Reptile rumble? Alright, get our rumble on. Whoa, watch out. Whoa, watch out. Whoa, watch out. Whoa, watch out. Oh, hello. That's a bonus round. Yeah, it is. Let's go for it, yo. I like the bananas. That's what I have to do. Ooh, bananas. Alright, what? Pretty sure it's impossible to fail that. Just kind of get in the barrel and collect the bananas. As it were. Watch out. Hey. Oh, Ooh, a checkpoint. I need that for checking the points. Watch out. Ow. Point. Oh, alright. Welcome back to the fold there, DK. DD Kong. Well, either way, DK would apply there. Ah, oh, man. Oh, creepy. Ooh, snakes! Watch out! Ouch! We rumbled that pretty effectively. Damn it, my fish! My stupid fish! Get back here, you bastard! Oh, man. Right. Oh, look what, you, look what you did now, you damn fish. Who needs ya? I don't need ya. I'm just kidding. Who needs that? Kinda, I was like, where'd that thing go? And I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be around the corner. They're helpful and delicious. They're arrow, uh, whatever, arrow hands. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go after this. Alright, fish, come back! Alright. This is where I get stuck. Okay, there we go. I'm unstuck. Carry on, everybody. Carry on. More or less figured it out. Oh, watch that. Uh, is that another fish? It is. Wait, where's Diddy? Is he on there with me? He must be on there with me. Now he's not. Uh, now we lost the fish. Oh, 
more shit about these cages. Oh wait, my fish just like flew by and like a speed of a pee ball. Ouch, I really did need you, goddammit, fish. Let me down again. Watch out! Oh, that was pretty blatant. Pretty much just hit me right in the face. I wasn't even like a waiting period on that. I was just like, oh, ready to be hit in the face? Yeah, sure. In the face, I shall be hit. Watch out. Fish. Yeah, got him. Yeah, take that. Oh, wait a minute. Can I go through here? Oh, I really can. Oh, I really can. Go through that. Still, it's pretty nice. I'll last it. Oops. Was just a little off on that. I found Nemo. He's right over there. Okay. He had seen enough. Ow. Well, at least I only... Oh, wait, I got it back. All right. Stupid fish, save the day. I knew you'd come through for me, stupid fish. Hopefully no hard feelings about calling you stupid fish the entire time. Monkey's fishing. Oh, no thanks, I think I've done enough fishing for one lifetime. Barrel Cannon Canyon. That's what's up on the side. Boink. Boink. Ow. Again, had to happen after I got the barrel. I thought there was going to be no shortage of barrels in this level. And cameras. I don't know what the cameras do. Whee! Whee! Yeah, nice! Oh, nice! This stuff's happening on accident, but I'll still take it. Whee! Oh, that is moderately entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that is not entertaining at all. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I meant to do that. It totally wasn't because I missed. Alright, we'll go with that. Whee! I've usually played this game the longest out of all the games today. I'm so far. Whee! 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 Alright, and we got to a checkpoint, so that's about a lot of time. Ow. What? I killed. Ow. Oh, that was a pretty straightforward death. It's not one of those you're like, gee, how'd that happen? Like, you definitely know how that happened. Definitely. Not a lot of mystery there. Kaboom. Kaboom. Whee! Whee! Ow. Oh. I don't understand why it takes you back to, like, the world sweat screen after you die, and then you just hit the button to go back in. Like, why can't you just start again from the last checkpoint? Maybe, I don't know, if I want to try to go back to the previous level or something, but I don't know. It's like a weird option there. Watch out! I literally just stood there and took that. Alright, fair enough. Aww. Oh. Wow. Why do I bless anyone? Does it tell me? It probably should. Five, alright. Well, five I think is actually six. You have to get one of the heroes, so. 
pretty good on lives, all things considered. Considering how many multi mistakes I've made in this game. Ow. Whee! Oh! I say, I was gonna leave a mark whether it was from the B or from falling from that height. Kinda, kinda screwed either way on that one. Uh, right now, this has turned into kind of the Donkey Kong Country episode of Blur Bonanza, which is not like my original intent, but I guess we'll, we'll take that. Alright, corner, eight ball, corner pocket. Oh, all right. I'm gonna put my golf shoes in there. I don't know what that was. It's there. Oh, that's gonna be the mark. Those, those lives are slowly going down the toilet. Take those lives and flush them down the toilet. Oh no! Oh, why do I keep falling victim to that? Those lives are slowly going down the toilet. Take those lives and flush them down the toilet. Nice shot. Oh, nice. Not too nice. Still nice. Still dead. Uh, one life left. This one might end soon, one way or the other. Oh, I got another life, so when I mess this up, I, I will mess this up. I'll have yet another chance. That was risky. And I'm dead end. But I do still have that extra life I just got. Let's see if that can pay off right now. stream over though. We still got a little bit more to check out here. Well, maybe not too much more. It's been a fun day though. Fun episode. Decent games played today. Oh, Donkey Kong Country 3 is on Game Boy Advance. I just saw it on the select screen there. Alright, so let's keep this moving here with our next game. Random it. Digimon Racing. I actually did not know there was a Digimon Racing. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, as a Digimon fan, I guess I might enjoy this. I don't know. We'll have memorable locations, if nothing else. That's one thing I gotta say about these kart racers they made in the 2000s. They were like a dime a dozen, but they, they, they did a good job of representing their source material for the most part. And I'll know, because I watched the first three seasons of Digimon. And so far, this does not sound like a theme song. Yeah, you don't remember that episode where Gobblemon raced in a. Yeah, I don't either. I don't Digimon. I saw Palmon. That's all I saw. Upgrade, yeah, that's a upgrade, why not? Okay, we got Agumon. I do enjoy Gabumon. Kaumon, Katamon, Henomon, Eomon. Alright, I think I like the main cast here. Kalamon, Gomamon, Secret Racer, whatever that is. Probably uh, Gatomon or Wizardmon. Uh, Agumon's too predictable, I'm gonna go Gabumon. Well, this is gonna Animute, whatever. Adventures. No, but we got Palmon. 
going on, Rem? Thank you for joining today. A little chaos, or not chaos, um, Lure Bonanza today. Digimon Racing. Apparently, this is the only cup there is. The Western Cup. Desert Oasis, Toy Town, Desert Cliff. Uh, I don't have probably over here. It looks like Mario Kart. Okay, racing deck is surprisingly fast. Okay, you got your like shoulder buttons like you would for Mario Kart. Okay, it just spun out. Okay, this is kinda sucks. I mean the graphics are actually pretty good. I'm surprised by that. I was never a big fan of, like, the SNES Mario Kart, which is what the game feels like. Actually, it isn't terrible, now that I've kind of gotten used to it a little bit more. Ow. I say that. Oh, wait, did I just turn into Galoob? I did! I just did all. Holy crap, I'm Galoob. Uh, Galoobumon. But I can't talk to Alright, how you doing, Rem? Welcome to episode 3 of Blur Bonanza. We learn our way through this great track here. Fifth place. On the freaking Digimon course. You might see a little Sonic Advance, who knows? So, you know, kind of anyone's game here, literally. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be on today, though. Let's see. Okay. No, it is not Emu Megatatum or whatever the heck you just said. Like, in terms of Metal Garurumon? Oh no, Beware Garurumon. Actually, I look like I'm Beware Garurumon right now. Oh, that's Togemon that just passed me. Kind of bubble or whatever. Oh, all right, just that's gonna happen. The game is not great. It's not terrible. It's just kind of fair. I would say this is mostly season one of Digimon, but I did see Digimon on the opening screen. In fact, maybe he's the character. One of them. The heck? Is oh, that is Digimon ahead of me. Oh. Alright, I'm going the wrong way now. Oh, I just got turned back into freaking. What the hell is the form of the poor Goblin Pilot? Not a old. I don't even remember. I used to watch this show all the time. Fourth place. At least I finished ahead of Tenomon. I was Digimon Racing on the Game Boy Advance. We got time for maybe a couple more games here. Blur Bonanza Episode 3. How you doing, Rem? Thank you for joining the stream today. Hey, let's see what we got next in the docket. Random quack. In this game, you play a duck. Yeah, option, ah, whatever. I, I already lost interest after I saw this game. You play a duck. So time to play a duck. Oh, it's not quack. It's quack. I get it. Very clever. In this game, you play a duck. Not even a duck you know, it's just a duck. Look at those options. Welcome to Quack. Scene one. All right, I'm a duck. Yeah, this is pretty much what I expected it to be. Not bad for a game that looks like it took about 10 minutes to make. And I just died and turned into a roast duck. Oops-a-daisy, it just said oops-a-daisy. Oops-a-daisy, try the scene again. Do I have to? Do I have to try this scene again? Can I just not try this scene again? Would that be all right? I do enjoy Oops a Daisy try this scene again. Uh, you missed my stream the other day. I did play some Sonic, actually. In fact, I played Sonic CD, of all things. Scene one completed. Scene two, hint something with the key. Oh, all right, I just fell down there. What the heck is even happening? Okay, I guess the key wouldn't open that, huh? 
Anthony. I don't know. Oh, I see. Oh, really? That doesn't hurt him? Why do those shoot backwards? God damn it. I can't believe I'm even playing this. Trying to hit that stupid thing. What the heck? Okay, we're done. We're, we're not trying that scene again. So we're not trying any of these scenes again, because that was just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Anyway, let's continue here. A little more blur bonanza coming your way. Random. Zoo Cube. Puzzle game. Then. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to play this one for long, but I am going to play it. Because the only provision I set today was that I can't do Pokemon games or sports games. Because they... Pokemon games, because they just take too long. It's nothing against the games. Sports games, because there's just too many of them, and they're all kind of crap. And that's coming from a sports fan, which I am. I am. Okay. Zoo Cube. Why not? Sure. Get ready. I was ready the moment I was born. What the hell is this game? Okay, so I'm trying to, like, connect it to myself. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Alright. I mean, I think I get it, but it's not very good. Oh, okay. It's a little hard to rotate something in, like, 3D like this. Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, Alright. What's happening here? I don't know, but we're gonna try it. Okay. Got that. Okay, that just blew up. Anybody can follow this. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, I got that. Okay, can I hit any other buttons on this? Oh, that's not good. It's kind of a funny looking game. It's almost like if Katamari Dynasty was a puzzle game. Instead of, well, I guess it is kind of a puzzle game, but this is just a different type of game here. Actually, this is strangely addictive after a while, even though I don't quite understand it. Yeah, blow them up, yo. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I sure, why not? Uh, wait, 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 oh, you bitch, I did not mean to hit that. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it, oh, I just, like, swung around and, like, smacked it. Alright. Uh, oh, I did not mean to do that, okay, the game doesn't really care what you meant to do, it just keeps on going. Whoa, Yeah, take that. I was gonna say, I don't think I have a spot for whatever that thing is. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We'll be doing this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, you bitch. Wait, is that like, am I like permanently out with that now? Can I not do anything with that? Actually, I can believe I'm playing this. I played some shit today. Oh, no, I blew up. Game over. Yeah, that's fair enough. It actually wasn't bad. It took me a little bit to understand what was really happening there, and I still don't know if I understand it, but that wasn't terrible, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to probably do, like, one more here. Let's see what we got. Random. Killer 3D Pool. I'm going to count that as a sports game and say no. Ultimate Muscle. I'm just not going to play that. World Championship Poker. Come on, give me a good one. Ace Combat Advance. If this is just a shoot 'em up, I'd play it, but I feel like it's gonna be like a more complex thing. Spider Man 3, uh, boy. You know what? I gotta play it. Now, this, this might be the last game of the day here. A little Spider Man 3 for your viewing pleasure. On the Game Boy Advance, mind you. Probably check out a level or so of this before we call it here. Spider-Man and all related characters. Yeah, the, the, the terrible 2007 movie. Oh, listen to that music. It's 
trying to be the music. I'm trying to be it. Time to see what's going on. Almost every like Spider-Man game has to have the first level be like in a building with a fire. Oh, look at that combat. Not at all repetitive and lame. Ow. Oh, there's our web button there. Look at that realistic web. Yeah, put that. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That generic thug. Oh, I don't like this. I just gave him a bomb. Level complete. Level complete. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for me here today with uh, a little blur bonanza action. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Checking out the randomness on display that we had here. We saw some good games, actually. Um, you know, not, not the ones I thought we'd see, but then again, I didn't know what I thought we'd see because that's what Blur Bonanza is all about. It's a random good time. We saw a Spider-Man game. We saw Donkey Kong Country, which was probably the highlight of the stream. We saw some other decent ones, actually. The Ghost Rider game was surprisingly not bad. I'm not going to say it was amazing, but it was a good time. And yeah, that's about it, but... Once again, I appreciate everybody checking it out. I know it had been a few days, so glad to bring you episode 3 of Blur Bonanza. We will see you soon in the next stream. As always, everybody, stay chaotic and blur out. <laughs>